Okay, so this is the Feisty Fair at Home by Preview Hendrix. It's 54 inches tall, 30 inches wide, and 21 inches deep. It has four levels um, and a storage shelf on it. I have split mine into two and two because I keep my girls in the top and my boys in the bottom. And let's get a closer look, I guess. So here's my boys. They do have it personalized a little bit. But here we have it open. That's how it opens. I don't know if I got that in frame. But this is the latch. You slide it and then pull up. And then you can pull it open. So pretty rat proof. This is Sin. And this is the floor they have put down. This is linoleum squares. I think they're sample squares. Yeah, sample squares from Home Depot. These were 49 cents. Um, and the girls, which is different, is 39 cents. I like the boys better because it's easier to cut. Because you do have to cut them to size. I bought six and like two could fit in here perfectly. But then two others I had to like size it properly um, because they're 12 by 12 so but they're easier to cut to size because they have these lines showing you where to cut and they fit together better whereas the girls has a border that you have to fit together which doesn't work um, but yeah they have a litter box that I had to zip tie and with P-Rock in it um, because the bars are do not fit to the tabs so it can't hang like it's supposed to and they can pull it out so I had to punch holes in it and zip tie it. And then these are the the level or the shelf. No, ramp. There we go, ramp. This is the ramp up to the shelf. In the pictures, it shows that the shelves, it shows two things. It shows that the shelves are metal, which is wrong. They don't make it that way no more. And then it also shows that the shelf has a hole in it, which the ramp leads up and they can go through the hole to get access to the shelf, which doesn't have either. I guess they just like to change the design of the cage a lot, or how it's made a lot. Um, which is a shame, because the metal shelves would have been so much better, because these tabs right here that attach it are so flimsy. They, like, you have to be so gentle. When I first got it, one, one broke. The boys broke back there. It broke a little bit. Still, it would be fine to where, like, I could balance out on there, but it broke. And then when I would take it out to clean it, it would break even more. And then even the um, the tabs that attach the ramp, attach the ramp, um, they would snap all the time too, because it's very like it's almost impossible to get these shelves out without having to take that ladder off, and it's really difficult to take the ladder off inside the cage. So yeah, um, I did get replacement ramps. That's why there's two ramps in here. I did get replacement ones from the company. They um, required a proof of a receipt, a copy of my receipt, and then they I sent that to them, and they said they'd put my request in for processing. And so after that, I gave them like I waited like a week, maybe a week and a half, two weeks, and I never heard back from them. So I gave up on them and finally ordered a critter nation cage. And figured I'd try and make the Critter Nation cage work. Or shelf. Not Critter Nation cage, a Critter Nation shelf. I figured I'd try and make that work. Um, worst comes to worst, I'd zip tie it to the, sh the thing. But the next day after I ordered that, I got a package. And I was like, wow, that was really, really fast. And um, when I opened it, lo and behold, it was two replacement shelves from Preview Hendrix. Not a Critter Nation shelf. So I'm still expecting that shelf, and we'll see if it works in this cage later on. But so that means that I got four shelves total. They still have their collapsed one. It's still back there, and they still use it and collapse it all the time, which is fun to try and fix. But yeah, that's the boys. And then watch out. Oh, you have to be really careful for this bottom cage, the bottom part, not to squish their little fingers. And also, the latch right here is a great tail catcher, and it just, it 
completely skins the tail. If they get a, their tail caught in there, it just takes the skin right off. So that's a thing to be really careful about. And we'll go up to my girls. They have theirs all decked out too, except they get sparkly pink. So we have Flash, who is that right there. And then we have Tipsy and Tesla. And they have pretty much the same setup. Got different linoleum, like I said. Their linoleum was cheaper, it was like 39 cents. I don't know if I already said that. And they have a different tile because I, I kind of broke the other tile that I got that matched for the boys. And then they also have these ones to tack down the fleece. I had the fleece in here to, um, to line it because they were swimming and I didn't want them getting water all over the place and me having to mop it up. So I put this down so it would soak up the water and it helps them dry faster. And they also have a ladder that they decided they wanted to collapse or take down. But they have the same, they have the shell, the ramp, with no hole in it, all the same. Um, their tabs, none of their tabs have broken, I think a couple of them have cracked, but not bad, as bad enough to where they won't, um, it won't like balance and collapses like, like the uh, boys cage did. Um, so yeah, they have the same litter box, it's zip tied too. And they also have a pee rock, which is a freaking miracle. If you are trying to litter box train your rats and they're not doing it, find like a river rock like that. It has to be kind of flat like that, but um, put it in there. For some reason, rats just love to pee on rocks. I don't know why. They would never use their litter box until I put a pee rock in there. And they suddenly started using it. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. They have various toys in here. This is a little Heidi toy that you can hide stuff in and they have to try and find it. It's not very good. There's like a couple of bucks at Walmart. But yeah, I need to get their fleece out now that they're not swimming. But that's their cage. They have cubes and hammocks. Oh yeah, and that's another thing I wanted to mention. Is the top of this cage looks fine, right? Looks, you know, great. Not a big deal. Yeah, right. You try and hang things on this, and it is a pain because, let me see if I can get, I'm like barely as tall as this cage is, so, let's see. So, like, you see this? You can hang it from here, let's see, but it slides all the way there, and same right here. You hang it, and it slides, it, like, it'll, it'll slide in. So you can't hang things solely from the top. You have to hang it from the side. So it has something to hold on to and won't slide around like this. So that's kind of a bum thing too. I think maybe I can get some hardware cloth and put it on top here and that'll make a lot more areas to hang stuff from. Because that also makes the cage a lot limited um, in where I can hang things. And so does the plastic shelves. Like the metal shelves at least had like, you know, things where you can hang stuff from. Whereas there is nowhere to hang hang from the plastic shelf because it's solid so yeah that was a bummer but I think all in all I probably now that I own the cage would have saved my money for a critter nation um but yeah oh that's another thing I wanted to mention is the doors this door opens but this is not a door right here it does not open which makes the shelves very limited, actually completely limited. You can only put a shelf right here. That's the only area you can put the shelf. Please stop biting me. Um, you can't put it anywhere else. You can't put it over on this side because then it attaches to the door. And then you can't open the door. So you can only hang this, put the shelf right here. And then I scoot this one in right here, which worked out pretty good. So yeah, that is the feisty ferret home. Um, I think it's uh, cage number 495 from Preview Hendrix. It's a fairly decent cage for the money. I do have to admit, it is a very good cage for the money. Um, just plan on getting a couple of replacement shelves if you're going to buy it because you will need it. They snap too easy. So I hope you enjoy my review. 
and enjoy meeting my Ronnies. Have a good day. Bye.